So hi and welcome to this video. So uh, today we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be finishing off uh, or I mean continuing on with the next part of the how to make your own poll series. So let's get started. So in the last video we left off with uh, echoing out the poll title but now we've done that what we want to do is we want to create another query and get all the questions for the poll. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy query and uh, all of this just to speed things up and we're going to paste it down here. And we have to close that off and close the one above it off. So I'm just going to separate space these out a bit more for, uh, well, just to make it a bit easier to read. So let's just uh, tidy things up a bit. So obviously we can't use these same variables over again. So I'm going to say uh, questions equals select all from questions or poll ID equals poll ID. And then we're going to keep. Uh, this actually we're going to change that so we're set Q2 just because it's the second query and we're going to set that equal to uh, the questions uh, variable and then we're going to set this to Q2 and that should be all we have to change actually change this to row uh, 2 we can change this to row 2 or we can just leave it as R so I'll change it to R actually just so that it's different from the original uh, variable up here and we're going to echo out or the first thing we're going to get actually is if we go to questions uh, and go to structure. We're going to get the question, which is uh, which has an index of one. So we're going to say question, and it has an index of one. So then what we're going to do is we're going to echo uh, question, So we're going to go to the, back to the website and we're going to refresh the page. And uh, okay, we have a syntax error on line 25. So let's go to line 25 and as you can see, we just have an extra curly brace. So I'm just going to delete this one up here. And that should be our error gone. So as you can see, we get nothing echoed out and that's because we have no questions in the database with that poll ID. We actually have no questions at all. So I'm going to click insert. I'm going to add a question. So um, Questions is going to be test question. We're going to give it zero votes for now, and we're going to set the poll ID equal to test. And now I'm going to refresh the page, and it says test question. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create another question. So uh, a second question. It's going to have zero votes as well, and it's going to have a poll ID of test as well. So there we have two questions in our poll. So up here what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to say echo uh, h1 uh, and I'm just going to echo the title out of the uh, poll. So here's our test poll. It gets the title from the database and we have our two questions below it. So the next thing we need is we need a way to actually um, sort of click on the questions to submit them. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to uh, do something really simple. We're just going to create a table. So so what we're going to do is we're just going to close off the PHP tags and we're going to uh, put our table in here. So we're going to say table. And we're going to create a table detail. Um, Actually, no, we'll uh, leave that as table row. And we'll go down below here and we will uh, close off the table row. I'm going to go down here and we're just going to close off the table as well. So, in here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a table detail. Oh, no, actually, I mean a table row. So, we're going to create another table row. Oops, uh, table. Uh, okay, my mistake. We'll create a table detail up here and we'll create another one down here. And this will allow us to put them side by side. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have radio buttons uh, down here on the left and the questions on the right. So, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, okay, what a smarter thing to do would be is to put the table row inside. Uh, with the question. So let's try that. 
So in here we can just uh, get rid of this. I'm just going to echo it out slightly differently. Um, get rid of that. And I'm going to say a uh, question. And that should be exactly the same. The only difference is we need to put in the break tag, which we can actually leave out with the table uh, detail on the table row. So I'm going to put in the table row first, and I'm going to put in a table detail. And I'm going to put in, or I'm going to end the table detail, and then I'm going to end the table row. And then I'm going to create another table detail, and it's going to have the radio button. So let's refresh the page. Okay, so uh, let me see. So what we need to do is just need to uh, open that table detail up here, and let's try it here. So as you can see now, it sort of lines up better. The radio buttons are going to be on this side, and the questions are going to be on this side. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to create a submit button um, uh, at the bottom of our table. So we're just going to create a another table row, um, and then in here a table detail, and we're going to say uh, input type equals submit, name equals uh, vote, and value equals vote. Okay, so let's uh, refresh the page. So now we have a vote button at the bottom of our table. So what we need to do is we need to come up here and we need to create a form. So the form is going to have an action of uh, index.php. Actually, if we leave the action empty, it, it should just uh, go to the page we're on. Then I'm going to have a method of post because we're sending data to the server. And uh, down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off the form. So now let's refresh and let's click vote. And as you can see, it uh, refreshed our page at the top there. So now we're going to create the radio button. So that's really easy. All we have to do is go in here and put in input type equals. And we need to uh, just close it off. And we're going to say input type equals radio. The name, and the name has to be the same for each of them. So the name is going to be uh, 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 poll option. And then we're going to say value equals, and we're going to set the value equal to nothing for now. So let's uh, go back to Google Chrome and refresh. Let's cancel that and just reload it actually. So as you can see now we have a radio button uh, for each of these. So actually set, we actually have to set the value. So we'll set the value equal to... Um, We'll set the value equal to question, so we're going to include the question variable. So there now our radio buttons are, uh, have a value, so when we click on these, uh, the value is uh, assigned. And we can uh, check the value by uh, going up here and saying echo uh, post. Uh, let's say uh, poll option and then let's uh, refresh the page so at the minute it's undefined but if we click test question and click vote it says test question if we uh, refresh and click second question uh, it now it says second question we can click test question again and it does the exact same thing so now we know we're getting the data from the uh, radio buttons so now we know we're getting the data from the radio buttons, uh, we'll actually end this video now and we'll uh, continue on in the next one. So once again, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.